Hey everyone, welcome to Diversity of Life with me, Nasi. Got hit by another cold last week, so I had to take the week off, but I'm back, and with Fernal Equinox just around the corner, I'm gearing up to live at large. For episode 16, I'm going to be diving into Effie's theme and list the top 5 animals that like to live at large. Get ready for the extravagant lives of nature's finest self-indulgers. Starting in on number 5, we're going to take a trip way down south to visit some distant cousins of mine, penguins. While many species of penguin don't live in the most extravagant places, they do know how to treat their partners right. One of the unique mating behaviors of the Gen 2 penguins is that they woo their mate with a presentation of a shiny pebble. Similar to when we present our love with flowers, jewelry, and candy, the Gen 2s will find a nice and shiny stone to give their mates. The prettier the stone, the more likely it is that the male will get lucky with his female friend. But in addition to being lovely gifts, these pebbles have a functional role. They make perfect nesting material for the female. Not just some jewelry, but a nice home for your girl. Good work, male Gen 2. Penguins are also some of the best dressed in the animal kingdom. The adults sport a black and white feather coat, giving them the look of a sleek tuxedo. Several species, such as the southern rockhopper, have some extravagant plumage. But penguin feathers aren't just for show. Their density, distribution on the body, and propensity to be covered in an oil makes them perfect for speedy swimmers. In the case of the emperor penguins of Antarctica, their feathers can keep them warm in average temperatures around negative 26 degrees Celsius or negative 14.8 Fahrenheit year round. Filling number four is the furry community, or rather the fourth slot is taken by the fox. These cute canids have a cultural history associated with being sly, thieving, and mischievous, but they tend to be very good at it, so they're also associated with wealth. This thieving nature is actually rooted in biology. Foxes are scavengers and predators, feeding on whatever is available to them, and they're no strangers to snooping in other organisms' food stores. Foxes are known for hoarding their food and will often seek out other animal stores to make their own. They'll take as much as they can carry, and they'll accumulate a positively divine feast for themselves. Filling our number three slot is... What? Oh! At number three is the sea lion. Sea lions fill our number three slot of the largest living animals, as they know how to get... They know how to score... B uh, they know how to increase their likelihood of passing on their genes to the next generation. Our very large male here is protecting what is called a harem of female sea lions. Harems are made up of approximately 12 to 20 females. These harem groups mate primarily with a single male in his territory for the duration of a mating season. A male sea lion will pick a small area of land that is his territory. For approximately 27 days, the males will defend their territory. The largest males, or the males with the most blubber, will have more energy to defend their territory and be able to mate with more females and acquire a larger harem. Next up, taking the second slot, is a Japanese macaque. This primate is native to Japan and is highly intelligent, living in large matrilineal societies where there are ranking systems for dominance hierarchies. There's also shared parental care between several generations, similar to humans. Their intelligence is well illustrated in a review by Hinata, Watanabe, and Kawai in 2008. These Japanese researchers discussed the curiously human behavior in washing and seasoning sweet potatoes. This behavior was first observed in 1948. The Japanese macaque would wash the sweet potato in fresh water, and rinse it in salt water to add some salt flavor to it. Since this behavior has been first observed, it has been seen to transmit between populations culturally. Not only are these primates smart, but they know how to spend the winter in style. The macaques will warm themselves up during the winter months at the Nagano Hot Springs. 
What better way to live at large during the winter than to spend it months at a spa? Last but not least, in our number one spot, our largest living animal is the blue whale. Taking it in the literal sense with this one, the blue whale is truly massive. In fact, it's the largest animal known to ever exist on the planet. The blue whale can be up to 98 feet in length and weigh upwards of 200 tons. That's the same weight as 100 average cars combined. Their heart alone is 400 pounds and the beat of it can be heard up to two kilometers away in the water. An adult blue whale has to eat 36,000 kilograms of krill per day during the feeding season. This is like eating 61,000 boxes of Cheerios each day. The babies of these animals are massive, popping out at 8,800 pounds, and typically they'll gain 200 pounds per day since birth. A blue whale's call can be heard up to 1,600 kilometers away. Talk about a loud singer. These beautiful animals are found in the Atlantic and really are one of the marvels of the natural world. And there you have it, my list of the top five animals that live it large. As always, I wanna hear from you. What did you think of the list? Would you add any animals that you think live at large? Who am I gonna see at Effie the tom Wait, tomorrow? What? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked what you heard here, please hit the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe. And if you want to see more of my furry antics, follow me on Twitter. I don't always dress up for cons, but when I do, I make sure to leave an impression. Live it up this weekend, fuzzy friends. See you at Fernal Equinox. Thank you.